wanna know his secret? What is up guys, Grenader here, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be doing a montage effect in After Effects tutorial as you guys have requested by popular demand. So, now what this series is going to consist of is basically, I'm going to do one effect for each video, so there's probably, this is going to probably be a series of like a hundred videos because there's so many effects that I want to do, but I don't want to cram them all in one video because that's just long boring and it's just too much to take into one video so I'm just gonna do them separately so today we're gonna be doing the ripple effect that I've been getting asked several times how to do it and I'm gonna show you guys today how that is gonna work so um, a little uh, warning a precaution here um, I'm going to go through this effect not step by step but just in general how you do it so if you don't really know or you're not familiar with After Effects please 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 I beg you watch this video on the screen here just click the link or the card or um, I have it linked in the description down below if you want to do that but check out the video um, acquaint yourself with After Effects learn a little bit of how it works and what it's about and then come back to this video and do what I'm about to do so um, from YouTube YouTube is a very um, awesome source for clips or if you have your own clip then just ignore this but if you don't have clips go to YouTube type in clips to edit 59.9 frames and you can find this clip pack um, on YouTube and or just in Google just whatever just get the clips and if you want to use this exact clip pack link is down below so download it and then you can do this um, step by step with me and um, if you want to or you can just watch so I'm gonna use this um, trick shot that was used in Yemen and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so let's open up After Effects and let's get right into this video so uh, what we want to do is go to the project tab and open up a brand new composition and make sure it's to the resolution that your clips are so my clips are um, 720p so that's what I did and so we're gonna import this clip here drag it onto the timeline and just um, what I usually do is I put this um, resolution render at half so that way when I'm working and watching the render um, playback it's not all frozen and laggy and stuff so I'm just gonna run through this clip real quick so he gets up there does a trick shot blah 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 and this is probably the part that you want to use in the actual montage you don't want to use this because personally this is way too fast like you can't really appreciate the trick shot so when it goes back into um this part the round ending kill cam this is where it's a little bit cooler because of the black bars it has a name i don't know i just personally like it so this is where i'm going to do all this stuff so um i don't necessarily need this other part so i'm just going to hit Control shift d or you can right click and cut manually like that but I'm just gonna cut this clip up so that way we can just clean up our workstation here and now um, what we have to do is first we have to duplicate the layer so that way we can use the effects so go to your effect and presets tab and type in CC lens so then when you find that drag that on the clip on the top so that way the clip on the top has the uh, lens effect and the one on the bottom is there just to be there you know because if you turn it off that's what it's going to look like you don't want that so you, this is the background this is the effect so um let's first of all turn off this top layer so we can actually see what's going on in the clip and we want to get to the part to where he shoots and we want to mark it so that is around there and so what i'm going to do is right there right there that frame so I'm gonna hit the asterisk key and I'm gonna put a little marker whether it's on top or on the bottom doesn't matter it's just a visual flag to um, let yourself know where the shots at so uh, the shots here so here's where the effects should start um, and once I get the effect going I'll go more in depth of like how you know you as a creator can adjust to that so um, we can turn this top layer back on um, he shoots there and what we're going to do is we're going to set it to zero, keyframe it, and then go maybe 10 to 15 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to do 10 and then blast it all the way to 500. And then if you hit the U key on your keyboard, you can actually see the keyframes and see how far apart they are. And now 
Um, let's pre-render this so we can actually see what it'll look like. And so if you hit B, you can do you can bring the render thing like that to wherever your cursor is. And if you go to this side and you hit N, same thing. And so we're just going to quickly pre-render this and see what it looks like. So blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it turns around. Boom. Okay, so as you can see, that is too quick. Um, I don't like that. That is too quick. So um, what we do if uh, this becomes an issue, um, we want to click and drag this a little bit more and just keep doing that until we get a good enough speed for the clip. So you can actually push this one back as well and just stretch it out like that and just so we can see what the clip will look like and it's still too quick and duh, 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 duh. I don't know why it's doing that it's been doing that for a while now um, I'm gonna stretch it back a lot now see if this works duh, 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 duh. okay yeah that worked um, so we're gonna um, push this back a little bit little by little so that way we can actually get a good speed going on. So, boom! Oh, too early. Okay, Let's try this again. Uh, 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 uh. Boom! Okay, so I'm gonna make it a little bit less because I don't want this effect to drag on forever. And let's see what it looks like. <laughs> okay that's a good speed and that is pretty much it so now here's the part where I'm telling you guys you can customize it to your liking so as you can see when he shoots right here that's when the thing goes on um, some people like to put this in the middle like that so as they're going the the clip does that I don't really like that, but yet again, this is your montage. You can do whatever you want to it. Personally, I'm going to keep it here. And as you can see, the markers right here, the keyframe is just a little bit before um, the, the marker there. And then the rest is just like that. So as you can see, this is a pretty big gap. And so we're going to do that. And to make this a little bit smoother, if you hit F9 or if you right click and do keyframe assistant easy ease, it'll actually look a little bit smoother it won't be, and look it won't look so mechanical so let's just run through that again and boom so actually what happened was uh, let's do that doom okay that looks pretty good we're gonna ramp preview one more time just to see what it looks like and that's good I'm gonna push this back just a little bit again so just play around with this until you get it just right and this is what montage making is you just gotta play around with the settings and see what you like um, another um, thing you can do is you can um, hit the little motion blur thing and not do that but hit that like that so you can turn on this motion blur looking thing and it'll you you can't really tell but it kind of blurs motion blurs the ripple effect so let's see does it yeah god so sexy okay so that is the effect and um a uh, I'm gonna go through a little the video is over at this point you may click off of the video this is the entire tutorial but for those of you that want to go even further uh, stay tuned so uh, some of you guys might run into this problem you're like let's say you add um, I'm gonna add looks real quick like a filter or something to this thing and let's see let's see let's see so let's just add a quick um, filter to this um, let's do that so um, some of you guys might run into this issue where um, the looks is a little bit off and how you fix that is by doing the following so sometimes um, what happens is that you put the looks on top or the filter or whatnot and it looks kind of funky so um, it kind of depends this um, this um what's it called color correction doesn't really help or help my case but um, sometimes you might run into a problem where the um, the looks or the filter doesn't really look 
like it should and the reason is because it's on the bottom so make sure you bring it to the top and you keep the lens at the bottom um, sometimes when you use twixter that happens too so you want to put everything on top and you want to keep the cc lens at the bottom so that is probably the only issue you run into and i'm just you know going through this because sometimes i don't go through this and in the comments it's just like a shit fest about um I'm, i have this problem i have this problem so i might just start doing this from now on um, going through potential issues that you might have and this is one of them um, so again if you have it on the bottom throw it on top keep the CC lens on the bottom it's like a cake keep the CC lens on the bottom and everything on top so that way everything works smoothly so that is pretty much it guys thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video you knew what to do and this is Grenader signing off peace